The future is better than we think. The future holds more positive things because we have so many tools for solving it. Every pr practical problem can be solved by technology one way or the other, but of course technology will not solve social, cultural, political and human issues. And on the flip side of all of that, we can safely say because of COVID and even before COVID, business as usual is dead or dying. We have to stop thinking about normal and reinvent what the future will bring. We're going to see new narratives, new story, new opportunities, as the World Economic Forum says, the Great Reset. Now, basically, it's a shake-up of everything that we used to believe in is now upside down. The next 10 years will bring more change than the previous 100 years. We need to have social policy that brings justice and equality and, and power education uh, and do everything that we need to do to be ready for that future. This is not just about technology. Technology is a tool. Uh, if we're going to use it wisely, then we have to use it with wisdom. Right? And we have to work on that as well as working on improving things with technology. When we look at the future, I like the Alvin Toffler saying when he says we should look at the framework that's changing, not the picture. And the picture changes saying like, okay, tourism has to go sustainable. That's the picture. But the framework is much larger. The framework of all the things that become possible because of data, cloud computing, the Internet of Things, quantum computing, natural language processing, AI, blockchain, 3D printing, virtual reality and genetic engineering, opportunity over opportunity. I mean, basically, we don't know where to invest first. It is not just digital transformation anymore. That would be too easy. It's social transformation. It's transforming the way that we collaborate and that we work together. And ultimately, it's a human transformation. It changes who we are. And we have to be a little bit careful on this and we have to be thinking uh, with precaution, not just do things because they become possible. Right? We have to also think about the things that we may not like. Because the question really is about our values in the end and ethics. Facebook has become toxic. It's a great example for too much technology, too much of a good thing. Essentially, Facebook is aiming at democracy with a giant weapon of algorithms. And, and that is something to understand. We have to understand digital ethics and in a totally connected world that we're going into, it is your humanity that will define the difference, that will make or break your company, your country, your region. And this is what I'm banking on for the United States of Europe, to become a collective society of humanity. This is a, not a degrowth story. It's not about not growing. It can be. I mean, humanity is growing, humanity wants to grow. It's about circular, inclusive, sustainable growth. That is the key to figure that out. Not to say that we're going to stop growing in general. Some things may have to grow, uh, stop, you know, slow down on growing quite a bit. We had this old paradigm, Milton Friedman from the 70s, right? That basically is only one uh, responsibility, and that's for companies to engage in profit. And now that's under fire. Because if we do that, we will not solve the real problems, climate change, water, food, energy, right? uh, disease. Right? We need to reform that concept into sort of a sustainable capitalism, right? into a new generation, get away from the Milton Friedman doctrine right? as a new uh, sort of operating system emerging. And it's been discussed for a long time. People plan a profit, but I add purpose. Right? Purpose is very important. Again, is the telos. It's why are we doing this? What do we want to be? Do we agree on what kind of society we want? That's going to be essential. Climate change is essentially the biggest opportunity for Greece, as I was saying earlier, but a very tough switch. And we're going to be forced to make that switch. There's not going to be any option. Any company that is not on their green path and that's not going towards a circular economy will cease to exist in the next decade. <laughs>